I have a listener shout out. Big shout out to at home Jen B. Thank you so much for your review on Apple. You say go to marketing podcasts and more five stars. I've learned so much about marketing our small indie retail gift shop in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania from Crystal. So much so we are headed to evolve in April to meet her in person. Oh my gosh, at home Gen B, I cannot wait to meet you in person and see you at our conference. And thank you so much for this review and for being a listener. It means the world. Facebook Lives are one of the best ways that you can be connecting with your customers and selling product. And today, that's exactly what we're talking about. All things Facebook Live. And I am joined by someone who is so dear to me, Lori Foster with The Dressing Room. I have known Lori since the beginning of my retail career. She is an incredible dynamite woman. She's owned her store for 28 years and she is going live every single day on her Facebook page and has been for years. And today she's going to pull back the curtain. She's going to tell you how she does these lives, how she actually facilitates the sale, when she's doing it, advice for you, how she is getting people to watch, to tune in. Like we're breaking it all down for you. So this can be incredibly easy for you to implement because this is still a strong tool for retailers to sell products and to connect. We want to connect. We need that connection. This is a small business's advantage of leveraging Facebook Lives. And Lori's going to walk you through it today. I think you're going to be very inspired by what she has created. And if you want to check her out, you can go to Lori's website, thedressingroombelleville.ca, and we've linked to this as well, or search for her on Facebook. I want you to watch her lives, connect with her. You're going to get so much value out of today's episode. So let's dive in. Welcome to Rooted in Retail. I'm your host, Crystal Vilkaitis. Here, we have engaging and informative conversations with successful indie retailers and industry experts. Together, we learn, connect, and grow. Don't miss our live after the show every Tuesday night in the Rooted in Retail Facebook group. All right, here's today's episode. Lori, welcome to Rooted in Retail. I am thrilled you're here. Thank you so much, Crystal. I am so excited to be here with you. It's just, it's such a treat. Oh, I know. We're going to have such a good conversation, mostly about Facebook live streaming today. I'm very excited to get into all the things you're doing because you're doing some really cool things. But before we do, I'd love for you to take a couple minutes and share with us a little bit about you and your store. Okay. For those of you out there, my name is Lori Foster, and I own a women's fashion boutique here in Belleville, Ontario. It's actually in Prince Edward County. So we are surrounded by beaches, wineries, beautiful restaurants. It's just, it's a lovely place to live. And this year I'm actually celebrating 28 years of business. So very uh, awesome honor that's Lori to, yeah it's 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 pretty cool and it's hard to believe it's like I I still kind of pinch myself it's like 20 years yeah it's it's fun yeah that is awesome and what kind of products do you sell at your store so we primarily deal with Canadian designers fashion designers we essentially dress women for work play and travel so basically whatever they're doing in life we can dress them for that and of course, we also have lots of accessories uh, to match as well. And it's just, it's a full spectrum for women. I love it. I'm so glad places like you exist for people like me because I struggle with getting dressed. And so we need help. So thank you for doing what you do. Oh, our pleasure. We so need it. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about something. I am so impressed because you do Facebook Lives every day. Yes. This is like a massive commitment. You do something that people are wildly afraid of or feel really uncomfortable doing. And so we're going to kind of dive into this today because there's so much power in doing these lives. So I want to start. What inspired you to do daily lives? Let's just call it the pandemic. <laughs> Oh, yes. The yep. pandemic was a huge inspiration, Crystal. And the thing was when the pandemic hit, my husband and I were actually away on vacation and we came home and literally the next day the world shut down. 
So wow. here I am. We were away thinking, okay, we're going to relax and rest because when I can't come, when I returned from holiday, we had actually had three fashion shows planned and big shows. So of course we in turn, we aligned all of our buying, our product, everything to the fashion shows as well. So the world shut down. I had a store full of inventory and it took about a week or a week and a half because let's face it, we all were in such shock. We had no idea what was going on, where we were going with this, what direction, when we'd be open again. So once we got the lay of the land and of course, direction from the government, then right. I was able to go into the store probably a couple of weeks after the pandemic hit. And essentially I looked around and I just thought, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I have all of this merchandise. I have suppliers to pay. We have product to move. And I had no idea when we'd be opening. Right. So, the other thing was too, it was interesting because around that time frame, of course, everybody's going through this. And I'm also a, a whiz bang retailer as well. Bob and Susan were on there and they were cheering everyone on. And it was just, it was fantastic in that sense. And I just, it's like ripping off the bandaid and I started doing lives and it has been such a game changer in our business, Crystal. It has just been amazing. And one of the, one of the, I would say one of the gifts that came out, one of the many gifts that came out of doing Facebook lives is the fact that we were that outlet and that channel for people to have positivity during the pandemic. We gave our customers something to look forward to every day. We had, when it got to the point where people could come and shop curbside, it was interesting because we had customers literally emotionally breaking down at the door saying, Lori, you've okay. saved my life. Thank you so much for doing these lives every day because your positivity, your inspiration, and that is what we're all about, right? We don't just sell clothes. And that to me is our mission statement, Crystal, is at the dressing room, we empower lives through fashion, creating confidence one outfit at a time. So that's truly what we do. You can go anywhere. The way I look at it, you can go anywhere and buy clothes, but we are there for our customers. We're there to make sure that they have quality and style and styles that suits their, suit their lifestyle, their body shape, their type, all of those things. But our Facebook lives were definitely inspired by the pandemic. And I am super grateful because as with anything, you take that, you take those nuggets of um, gifts that come right. your way and you just, you, you roll with it and you shine with it. And yeah. I'm really thrilled. <laughs> and you did it. Was it, I have to ask, were you uncomfortable? You said ripping the bandaid off. So was there some <laughs> resistance of doing them in the beginning? I wouldn't say so much resistance in doing it, but there was also, you're very aware, you're very conscious of being in front of the camera and am I doing it right? And are people going to enjoy this? Are they engaged with my message and that sort of thing? So after a couple of times that really grew, plus I also have to say, I'm also a figure skater. Oh. You know, so my entire life, it was like, I, I actually, before, even when I started my business, uh, my total skating career, I taught professionally for 17 years. I'm used to creating ice shows and choreographing and, you know, assembling music pieces together and doing all of that. Stuff. So being in front of the camera and being in front of people and coaching for 17 years, I'm used to speaking with people. So it was just that natural connection, right? Yeah. But there's still always, there's still always when you're trying something new, there's that, not anxiety, but that question of acceptance, I would say. How are people yes, going to so react? That, exactly. That's a really good way to put it. And we were all in this completely new world. So you're living, trying to figure that out and now trying to do your business differently. And this is what I thought was so incredible to watch how people still shopped, still showed up, really supported their retailers. It was really incredible. And then you just kept going mm -hmm. since you're still doing these lives today. Now, we'll talk about some of these results and what you're seeing, but I would love to know just a little bit of behind the scenes. Like, how are you setting up 
how do you plan your lives? How are you executing them? How are you ensuring people show up and engage? Will you kind of share like peek behind the curtain and how you get these done? Well, one, I, I would say if retailers are out there trying to figure this out and questioning to do a live or how do I go about it? The biggest takeaway that I can give them or the biggest advice is consistency. Okay. You have to be consistent with your lives because what we did, we started out with a couple of different time frames. So when the store wasn't actually open, when we were still on lock in lockdown, I started doing the lives at 11 a.m. each day. So that way people could, they're at home, they're dealing with COVID, they're sleeping in, they're doing whatever. So 11 o'clock in the morning seemed like a really good time um, for me to connect with my customers. So we did that for, I don't even know how many months. And, and then once we were able to open, I tried to pare that down because my shows sometimes can be almost an hour. It just depends on the day. It depends on what I'm doing, what I'm offering, that sort of thing. So then we tried different models as far as timing. And it was funny because at one point we had limited to just under a half an hour, like 20 minutes or so. And honestly, Crystal, it just wasn't enough time. And our customers were like, but you're on and then you're off and it's just not enough. We're not getting enough of you. We want to see more and we want to. So that's when we set the time frame daily from 10 a.m. until 11. So from 10 until okay. 11, I may not get on. I, I always say 10 a.m. ish. So that doesn't put me under pressure because, you know, the UPS truck could be pulling in. I could be getting a call from a customer. Who knows what, right? But the from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. seems to be the perfect time that works because People are making this a part of their day. This is their, it's like we're breakfast television for them. Totally. Really, yeah. Right. We're like their breakfast television. They get up, they have their coffee. And of course we also have our dressing room diva mugs. So we gift Love these it. to customers as well. So, you know, we, we have that fun conversation of, oh, divas, grab your mugs. So our, all of our customers are our dressing room divas. And so it's that community, right? So yeah. that's how we started and like I say, consistency, because if you are not consistent with your timing, then you're going to lose your audience. And yep. even days, honestly, today, I, I mentioned to you this morning, I just started to, you know, catch this little bit of a cold. And um, so I even messaged on Facebook to our divas this morning with our post. And then please note, there's no Facebook live today, but I still had people messaging me. Lori, where are you? Is everything okay? Oh, I missed the no. show. You know, where's the feed? So it, again, it's that consistency that keeps them engaged. Oh, I love it. That's such a good piece mm -hmm. of advice because you really do. You have to train the customer when you're going to be on, what to expect. Mm -hmm. And and then and I think too, when you know, like you've got that baked in, it, it's easier to get done as well because you know, like I've got a place to be every mm -hmm. day at 10 a.m. when your customers start looking for you. So that is so good. Now, how do you promote these? Obviously, you've been doing them for so many years. So you've built your name probably for doing the show. Your customers know. But how are you kind of trying to promote so people watch live or watch the replay? So we promote daily. So every morning, talking about consistency. So every morning around between 7 and 7.30 in the morning, I always do a Facebook post. So whether it's a product post or whether it's a motivational post or whatever that may be in the post, I will say, be sure to tune in at 10 a.m. on Facebook Live. We'll be talking about this today or we'll be doing that. You know, that promotes it. Plus, I also have my team members. We've made up these little posts and we are cartoons. Like we have our own emojis. I have an emoji of me. And um, so that post will go on. We'll post that, you know, just a random post. And it's be sure to join in, join our Facebook lives and that sort of thing. So we're constantly promoting that. We're promoting it in our e-newsletters. Okay. We do a lot of twice a year, we do a, a postcard promotion to our divas as well. So in that, there's also be sure to tune in or join us daily on Facebook live. So everything we do has that attached to it, right? It's because that, to me, that is the driving force. We don't, we have a website. But it is not an e-commerce because if it was e-commerce, oh my gosh, Crystal, we would be like up to our eyeballs trying to change things because our inventory changes literally by the minute. 
So yeah. it would be almost impossible for us. So this yeah, to me is my e-commerce. Yeah, it yeah. is. It totally is. And it's so engaging. And obviously your customers are really resonating with it. And you're just doing this. You're in the store. Mm-hmm. I want to get like kind of basic here because if there's anybody who's just so scared, if we can really break it down for them and help them. So I'm assuming you've got like a tripod. Are you doing this on your phone, on your cell phone? Just on like, my cell phone. Take a, yep. Okay. Beautiful. And then you kind of know ahead of time what you want to feature that day, right? Do you pull the clothes? Like you've got a topic. How do you plan that content? That is the fun thing, Crystal. I am a planner to a certain degree, but I'm also a spontaneous creative. So there are factors that come into play when we're doing this. So it all depends on, and of course we're in Ontario, we're in Canada. So the weather is up and down and all around, right? Like it's, we're starting to have a snowstorm this afternoon, right? (laughs) So it's just, it's crazy. There are factors that definitely affect how I organize the show and it all depends on the weather. It depends on what product has come in. It depends on holidays, what's going on at that time frame. There, there are a lot of different factors and the, I guess one of the, a piece of advice to give to retailers would be don't put pressure on yourself. Don't put pressure on yourself to think, oh, I have to feature this or I have to feature that. Because you want to have the show basically as organically as possible and just make it fun, right? Yeah. And, and not put pressure on yourself to read a bunch of scripts or there is no way. Like I would have a hard time being an actress because I cannot stick to a script. I don't script anything. It's, I just do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's the Same. key is just be yourself, be authentic, be retailers. You will shine through and your customers will love you. And that's, to me, that's what it's all about. So getting back to your question of how do I, it, it's just, even some mornings I'll walk in, I may have an idea in the shower, or I may just walk into the store and go, okay, I have six of these and I have six of those. And Oh, or today I'm going to feature a color. Let's do one pant that's a certain color, one pant, three looks, right? And, but there's constant, a constant flow of ideas. And I think if you can keep it um, fresh, and I think if you can keep coming up with different ideas, don't make it the same every day. Don't make it the same every day. And I think that is the key. Just have fun with it. If you're having fun with it, your customers are going to be engaged and they're going to love what you're doing. Yeah, that's such good advice. What I love is that you gave permission to just do it your own way Mm -hmm. and however that looks today, because we can get caught up in wanting to be perfect or we might compare ourselves to somebody who also does a live and they just do all these things. And I wish I could do that. And it's really about being you, like you said, your customers just want to see you and you give that space for what's coming in today. I think that when we are really planned out, it can limit us from something that can be more organic or more meant to be in that moment. And I just am such a believer of when I prepare for this show, I have questions. I like to send my guests questions. And I also always take a minute before and I'm like, let me like have me be a channel almost of what do my listeners need to hear, right? Let's just have something that flows through. So I'm here for them. And it's the same for your Facebook viewers. Like, let me be open. What do they need today? And, and serve and show up for them and have fun. Like you so have to have fun. Great advice. I love it. Absolutely. Lori, what about challenges? What kind of challenges have you seen with doing these lives all these years, every day? I think the biggest challenge is to make sure that you are practicing self-care, right? Practice self-care because, and don't be hard on yourself because the thing is, as retailers, we are pulled in so many different directions and we are not only as retailers, many of us are parents. We have spouses, we have friends, we have family, we're caregivers, we're, we're all of these people. As retailers, we wear so many hats. And I think that getting back to even when you said, okay, we were talking about the consistency of the lives. For me, when I set that time frame of 10 a.m., I thought to myself, okay, what can I do that will make it sustainable for me? Right? Because ultimately, it's about me and my energy. 
There's only so much time in a day. There's only so much energy that you have. So what time works best for you so that you can maintain this every day yeah. and not get burned out? Yep. That is, it's so important. It's so important. And I think that's the key is in business, it's really important to practice self-care. Right? Yeah, you have to have self-care. I completely agree, especially when you're committing to something like this. And anyone that's listening, you, there might come a time where you do have to take a break. Over all these years, did you, have you been consistent or were there, have you gone on vacation and gone away for a week or <laughs> come back? What does that look like? Actually, yes. I actually, my husband and I just got back from vacation. So that's probably why we have colds, right? So we've been flying. <laughs> and the other thing too, when you say, have you taken a break? The interesting thing is even when I travel for business, so we are all traveling for markets and to deal with our suppliers and designers and that sort of thing. You know what? I take my divas with me. I do I a Facebook live wherever I am. And even if it's in a hotel room after a day of buying, or if I'm in a showroom or wherever I am, I take my divas with me. So I may not be in the store showcasing product, but I'm including them in the journey so that they feel a part of it. And to me, it's, it's all about those relationships, but that's what I do. But I do, honestly, I make sure I practice self-care and like even today, not being there, our customers are messaging in and they are telling me, Lori, you just take a break, self-care, enjoy your weekend. Oh. So it's that love that you share with your customers. But honestly, Crystal, even this morning, I'm like, I miss them. <laughs> I love yeah. it. I miss having that interaction, but I do take my break when needed as well. Yeah. I love that. I love that you say I take my divas with me. I really encourage our listeners to think that same way because I think some of us, when it comes to social media, we feel like we have to be posting. It's my Facebook. Ugh, I got to <laughs> post on Facebook. Ugh, I got to go live on Facebook. It's not that. It's I'm taking my divas with me. I'm taking my customers with me. That completely changes the mindset. And then you're like, I want to show up. It's not like oh, I have to post. It's like I want to. And to your point of missing them, that's just such a good reframe for people who might struggle with that. An, a challenge I hear from a lot of retailers is getting people to watch. Like I've heard this a lot. They're like, I'll have two people sign on live with me for months now. I've been consistent. I do it every day. There's two people there. Have you seen that kind of challenge? If you have, what have you tried to do to increase it? Or are you seeing consistent views every day? We see consistent views and honestly, it just keeps growing. But one thing that I think retailers can do to help with the engagement is we even do several times a year. We do a, a lot like and share, mm -hmm. right? So like and share our videos for a chance to win whatever. And with that too, you can also team up with another business, right? And gift some sort of, you know, we do a diva prize pack valued at whatever, right? And that diva prize pack may have, you know, some items from our store, of course, a diva mug, whatever, gift cards. There may be some spa treatments in there, whatever, right? Access things from your suppliers as well. And they're always willing to, to help you and promote and to give things away too. So I think, you know, it's like that whole give to get the reciprocity, right? Like you have to put it out there and get it back. And then like our divas, oh my gosh, when we do a like and share, it's just, it is gangbusters. And then they're sharing it with their friends and they're so excited. And then you just keep getting new people signing on all the time, which is really cool. Yeah. So smart. I love it. Those are really good ideas to engage, to make it fun, to help people share. If somebody loves watching this live stream, they're going to want to tell their friends. But sometimes we don't think about telling our friends. Honestly, <laughs> it's so crazy how the human brain works, yes. right? Like we have to actually tell them, share this if there is somebody that you think would love this or they may be more inclined to share things if there's an opportunity at winning or being featured or things like that. So don't forget to have those calls to action of sharing and engaging and, and mark your calendars and, and showing up. So those are really good tips. I was going to say too, uh, because some retailers might be like, 
oh, how do I do that? But the other part of that too is even telling or sharing your, with your customers how to like and share because some people even yeah. go, how do I do it? Hit the like button or hit the love, show me some love, give me some hearts and hit that share button and that will share with your friends. So sometimes you have to be, not everyone is tech savvy. So if exactly. you can give direction, basically it's like asking for what you want. Yes. You have to put it out there in order to, to get it. So you do. Yep. That could be hard for people to ask for those kinds of things, or they feel like, oh, I don't want to ask people to share, or I don't want to ask people to join my list or to like me. But no, it's you're doing a disservice if you don't. Like, we, if people want to be there, help them mm -hmm. understand how to be there, understand how to share. That's a really good point. Don't assume that people know how to do it. You probably have to coach them a little bit there too. Evolve 2025 tickets are now available. We just wrapped an incredible conference. Conference attendees were saying this was the best conference they've ever been to. Evolve is made exclusively for independent retailers. So if you are a retailer and you want to evolve, you want to grow your business, lock in your ticket for next year now because it's the cheapest it will ever be. You could get tickets starting for as low as $297. This is the time to secure your ticket. They will never be this, this cheap. <laughs> so get your ticket now at crystalmediaco.com slash evolve. And I can't wait to see you next year. Lori, have you had a video that just went, it was super, super successful. You did a live stream and you sold so much from it. Or are you seeing kind of just that consistency with your videos as far as the sales and, and engagement on them? Honestly, Crystal, it's very consistent. It's very okay. consistent for us. And I think, I honestly, I really think it's just the excitement of what we do and the fact that we're showing different products every day. Plus in our industry, in the fashion industry, more often than not, we have products in our lines that are essentials that we keep reordering. It's like going to a store and getting bread and milk, right? You always have these items in stock. But for us in fashion, and this could be the same in giftware or any other um, retail business, but there are many designers where it's like, we can only get what we have is what we have. So those customers watching, they are very in tune, very engaged because they know that if they don't type in, key in, I want the black turtleneck and medium, it, yeah. it'll be gone. And there are times where more often than not, say for example, we carry sizes two through 18 and extra small through double XL. So in extra small to double XL, that's what six units. Yes, the six units, right? So in a show, I could essentially sell out four out of six units within that half hour, wow. right? And then the beauty, of the Facebook Live is the fact that you don't always have a full house watching live. So this is where retailers can think of, it's like thinking outside of the box because as the day progresses, you have people watching you all day. I could be watching TV at night and my phone will go off and I've sold another, right? So it's that whole engagement of, you know that you've done the video, but that video lasts throughout the day, the next day, the following day, what have you. And yeah. so you're constantly selling. So it's a non-stop method that is easy. You've done it once and it's lasting throughout the day. Exactly. Which I love so much. Do you ever advertise those videos or are you pretty much from the organic standpoint? You'll do the live and then people can catch the replay. Yes. Just organically. Yeah. We okay. haven't, okay. I've dove a little bit into ads and that sort of thing, but this is where Crystal Media comes into play. So we will be attending Evolve and um, another occult, one of my teammates are, are, you know, traveling with me this year. So it's just okay. a case of, again, even though being in business for 28 years, we are constantly evolving and learning and growing yeah. and things are always changing. And that's where we need people like you and your team, Crystal, to help us develop and grow. And because I think most retailers, I, I could be wrong, but I'm, most retailers have a hunger for learning and growth and education and doing the best that they can. 
with their customers and with their business. For sure. One, it's changing. Retail changes fast and social changes fast. And I think though, that's great for our listeners to hear you're seeing these results organically. You're not actually paying money for it. So this is a free aspect for you. I do because I come from the ad world. I do think (laughs) we could turn up the volume on some of these results if you were advertising. I want to talk some more about results, but first, how are you actually facilitating the sale? So if you go live and you're showing this shirt in six different sizes, is it through like a comment sold where it's automated or is it, do people have to call you? Do they message? How are you actually facilitating that sale? So for us, I don't think in Canada, and I could be wrong now, but I don't think comment sold is available here. So what we've okay. done since day one is basically at the beginning of the video, I'll say, okay, divas, if there's anything that you see in today's video that piques your interest, simply message us in the feed. And, and then from there, they can either call us or they, with their credit card information, or they can come into the store. Plus, through these videos, this is another, it's so exciting, Crystal. This is another I whole level because now doing these lives daily, we ship all across Canada. We've never shipped yeah. all across Canada prior to COVID and prior to doing the videos. So we have customers, we are in Ontario. So for those of you watching, Ontario is central Canada. And then we have customers in from coast to coast, Newfoundland and Vancouver and everywhere in between. So that is really cool. So essentially they call us, they give us their credit card information. They completely trust us. We are trustworthy people. And then they either come into the store, try it on, purchase it, or we ship it to them. Awesome. And here's the deal. This is what I love. It doesn't, we can get really caught up in the tech and feel like it's so hard to do how am I going to actually sell this? And then you might try to set up comments sold. And that is a good tool for automating a live selling. That's why I brought it up. If you've never heard of it, you could go check them out. I think it's just com- commentsold.com. And they can automate some of that experience for you. But the key here is that don't let tech get in your way. Mm-hmm. You could just start the live with your cell phone yes. and say, message us. Mm-hmm. Like just get it started. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. And the other sign of that too, Crystal, is If somebody has additional questions, of course, you can communicate by phone, you can communicate by email, but another layer, I have so many layers, Crystal, another layer to all of this too is texting, right? Yeah. So we do a lot of texting with our customers or if somebody says, oh, I really like that top that you showed today, but you said it is also available in three colors. What do the colors look like? Because designers call colors certain cut like this could be mango, right? So what does mango look like? So I will text them pictures. And then from there, bingo, right? Bingo. Everybody's happy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Now what about with these results? So I was looking at all your videos, like you're always getting comments. You're always getting people that are liking the video from a sales perspective. Do you see sales on average from every single live or every week? What kind of results are you willing to share with us here? Oh, we get our lives. That is the driving force of our business. We sell so much through our lives. I want retailers to think about, you know, we're always talking about driving traffic into our stores, right? And by doing a live, you are essentially driving traffic into your store. They may physically not come into your store, to purchase, but you are driving traffic to your store. I have, I can't even tell you how many customers that I have that have never even stepped foot into my store and they are some of my best customers. Yep. Right. That's pretty, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. So yes, to answer your question, we sell through our lives every single day. So that's another thing yeah. too, is like when I miss a live, it's like you just feel like you're right. missing out on, on, on a sharing your products with your customers and that energy and that vibe, but you're also missing out on sales, like to bottom line. Right. Right. Well, I love that you're selling every single day. (laughs) I talk about these in my social media presentations, like having a system, I call it a winning slot machine where you could just pull the lever (laughs) and you see success. Your live is your lever. You know that I can pull that. I can make some money. I can connect. It's so great. Now, anybody who's listening to this who doesn't have fashion, isn't in fashion, clothing, 
this still can work for you. Like I've talked to a lot of retailers who are in gift or home decor, interior design. Sometimes those harder, those bigger like furniture is harder, I think, to be selling live because you're planning through that. But some of those smaller ticket items, actually jewelry, this ring I'm wearing right here, I bought from a Facebook Live. It was actually funny because we had a client, an ad client who did some lives. We were advertising and they're like, she did one of her first lives. Will you just go check it out? See how she did. I can't stop watching. I'm like, what else is for sale in this live? So here I'm watching item number, whatever comes up. And I'm like, Tiani, I need this. So I end up buying like it works and it's a $400 ring. So I say that because I mentioned lower ticket. It doesn't have to be a 20 or $30. Like you can, the key is hold their attention, be consistent, be yourself and show up and let them buy in the comfort of their home. It's so powerful. Absolutely. And retailers need to remember too that you are the expert, right? Yes. That is why people are tuning in. That's why they're engaging with you because you are the expert. And peel back the layers of that nervousness or the hesitation of jumping onto a live because you retailers, your stuff, but your stuff, you are the expert and that is going to shine through. It's so going to. So just let yourself shine. It's your time to shine. You got to do it. Lori, are you ready for the resilience round? I sure am, Crystal. Okay, yeah, bring let's it on. do it. Bring it on. Okay. Best business book. Okay. In 28 years, to be honest, I've read a zillion books, but I'm not going to tell you a best, I'm going to twist this around for you. And I'm not going to tell you best business book. I'm just going to say to retailers, self-care is the best topic. Okay. Get out there, check out whatever self-care works for you, because if you're taking care of yourself, you have so much to offer it, the world. Mm, it's so true. I love it. Best retail technology, like an app or software. Oh, we use Canva every single day. Canva and ChatGPT. Thanks to you. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's so good. How do you keep up with the ever-changing retail landscape? Education. Make sure that you are, you're just aware of what's going on out there. Check out what your competitors are doing. Speak with your suppliers, your reps, your designers. Attend trade shows, attend conferences. Go to Evolve, right? That's, those are all of those things. It's, it, there isn't one specific area. It's, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of things. And also, too, I think one of the really cool things one of the key, I think one of the key takeaways, honestly, this is something that when I was at Evolve, one of the key takeaways for me was also being in this environment with so many business owners and retailers and listening to everyone's story, that in turn gets you thinking and it's okay, yes, I'm doing this right. I'm doing that. I can improve on this. It's that confirmation, that mental checklist of where am I at? Mm -hmm. And I think that is really important in, in retail. Oh, it is. Well, you don't get that a lot as business owners, right? If you've got to get out of the store, you've <laughs> got to show up, you've got to network and talk to people. So coming together and, and doing that, I'm such a believer in that too. You've got to network and talk to other business owners like you. Okay. To help retailers be stronger, more rooted in success. So what's a Facebook live foundational best practice? consistency. <laughs> Stay consistent and don't be afraid. Just be you, be your authentic self and the world will love you. Oh, I love it. If you had to start your business all over again, what's one thing you'd do different? I, this is interesting. I, I had to really think about this, Crystal, because it's one of those things that I'm a firm believer that in life we have our direction. And as we grow and as we learn, these are all lessons that are helping us to evolve as retailers and humans and people. But the biggest thing I think for retailers and for people, for anyone is be true to you. There are so many people out there watching you, be it friends, colleagues, neighbors, whoever, and everybody has their opinion. Everybody has their two cents that they want to share with you. And you may have big dreams. You may have things that you're sharing with people, but not everyone has that same they may be feeling yeah. on their end too. It's, oh, she's doing this. Well, I wish I could do that. And then they may try to squash you down a little bit. 
So yeah. I think being true to yourself, listening to your own, your like, gut feeling, that intuition, I think that is key because that is going to be your driving force. And if you have outside influences affecting or telling you how to do something or, you know, trying to sway your direction, that's taking you away from your purpose and your alignment in your business. Part of that is one of my, one of my biggest things I always say to myself, to my son, to my husband, to my team, does it inspire you or does it tire you? If it inspires you, yeah. you feel good about it. If it tires you, it's what isn't right. And I think that's all a part of being authentic and being true to yourself. That's, I think that's yes. number one. Yeah. Love it. So good. Finally, what do you think the future of independent retail looks like? Oh, super exciting. Super exciting. I think as independent retailers, we have the gift. We have, we have the magic wand in our hands, retailers, because we have the ability to basically, we are the boss, right? We can pivot. We can do whatever we want. If we decide we want to have a sale or we want to do this, we don't have to go through all the corporate mumbo jumbo and all of that. We can do what we want when we want at the drop of a hat. So I think independent retail is very exciting. And also too, it is customers want that. They want the experience. It's all about yeah. the experience. And that's what independent retail to me provides. It provides an experience. Yeah, it sure does. Whether that's in store or online in your Facebook lives, however that looks, you got to do the experience. Yeah. yeah. So good. Lori, how can people connect with you and find you? They can visit our Facebook page and also to the dressing room, belleville.ca is our website. We have all kinds of fun things on there. You can actually link to our Facebook page and we're on Instagram too. And, but for us, Facebook is where it's all happening. And just, yeah, all of our information is on our website, the dressing room. Awesome. We'll link to everything too. Go check out Lori's lives. Oh. Give her some love in there. She's crushing it. <laughs> Lori, thank, thank you. you so much for sharing and being here today. It means the world. Oh, thank you, Crystal. It's just, it's such a, it's such a joy and honor to be here with you today. And as you can tell, I love chopping retail. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. And we had a whole nother topic that we didn't even get to talk to. So you're going to have to come back on the show <laughs> and, and we'll do a two-parter here. But I am so excited for this conversation. Listeners, take action. There was some really great stuff in here. So get out there, do those lives. Lori, I'll see you at Evolve in a couple of weeks. And everyone remember that I am rooting for your success. Have a great week ahead. Bye. Thanks, Crystal. Bye. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. Don't forget to join the Rise and Shine newsletter, which is social media news you need to know, sent via email every Monday morning. Go to crystalmediaco.com slash rise to join. And don't miss the newest episode of Rooted in Retail, which drops every Sunday morning. 